everybody. This is the DEI Working Group for Chaos. Today's August 17th. I'm glad to see everybody here. We have a pretty light agenda. I think everybody has the minutes. Oh, I should add my name. Um, yeah, let me share my screen. All right. Who, do we have any volunteers to be the facilitator for not August 17th, but the next meeting, which is sometime in the future? I don't know when, whatever two weeks from now is, <laughs> September something. Let's see, September. Oh, it's August 31st. I can do math. Anybody want to? So you said two weeks. It's not weekly. Oh, it is weekly. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been one of those days already. Yes, it is weekly. You are correct. Yes, 24. Okay. Does anybody want to be the facilitator? You're going to do a better job than I'm doing right now. So there you go. The bar is low. <laughs> I mean, if nobody wants to do it, I certainly could do it. I'll have to just. Katie, were you going to say something? Were you going to volunteer? Oh, I'm checking. I'm checking my calendar to see if we have. Um, I have a. I can take the 31st. I can't take next week. Oh, let me write that in here. Precious, you want to do it next week? Thank you. And then uh, facilitator for August 31 is Katie. That's awesome. Thanks, you, you all. Appreciate it. I was going to say thanks to you, both of you, but then I was like, that's not going to sound right. So then I, <laughs> that's why I was like, you all, I don't, yeah, Texas. I need more coffee. Just Texas it. It's y'all. <laughs> thanks, y'all. Um, and now my phone's blowing up over here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, okay. So the update on review of old metrics. So Precious and Oma did all the reviews of these old metrics, which we listed here below. Um, I've done, uh, I just put them into Markdown and put them all the PRs out there. A lot of them have been merged in. I just did a second batch this morning. The only one I still had questions on was this issue label inclusivity and maybe Precious, you can tell me, did you do that one or did Oma? Do you remember? Because this link goes to the wrong thing, documentation discoverability. So I just need a link to the doc where you did the work or Oma did the work, if you know where that might be. Okay. Um, but otherwise, we're good to go. And I will, um, as soon as I get that one done, I'll open the issue in the translations repo. Um, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, so I will do that. Matt G uh, mentioned something yesterday about doing that, but I think I will get that done probably today. So, so yeah, so that's exciting and appreciate that that work was great. And now the DEI metrics are awesome, all up to date. Oh, oh, you know what? I just thought of too. Um, I will make sure to check the spreadsheet and make sure that it's all been documented there as well. Because I don't know that I documented the like date of last review and all of that stuff. Anybody have questions on that? Or comments? Okay, cool. We'll move on. 
So last week we were going through some old issues and we landed on this inclusive naming one, which I can pull up again if we want to see what we're talking about here. Um, this one right here. It was this one, I believe. No, yes, yes. Um, so we had talked about just making a stronger connection between chaos and the inclusive naming initiative because they are awesome and they're also an open source project uh, as a part of the Linux Foundation. They're doing really great work. Um, and we had had a few ideas about how we could approach it with um, various mentorship programs and um, maybe adding it to the list of our checklist of um, the metrics. Um, it's kind of one of those things that we always have great ideas here and just like we're just limited in our time and resources to implement them all. So uh, we brought it up to the um, the general community meeting on Tuesday and just to see if anybody had an interest in maybe making more of a bridge or being that person that would maybe attend the meetings there or get a little more involved in that community so that they could bring some things back to chaos and we could figure out maybe what we wanted to implement and how we want to go about it. Um, I don't know that we had anybody, I don't think we had anybody um, jump in right on that meeting, but we did kind of plant that seed. So um, again, if anybody here is interested in um, kind of being that person or, or just kind of leading that effort, then um, by all means, you know, speak up. That would be something that would be awesome. So um, and it's not crucial, it's not urgent, it's just something that would be kind of a nice thing to have, you know, a nice bridge to have, I think, between chaos and the I and I. So yeah, just dropping that in that, that we did bring it up in the community meeting, we didn't have anybody really um, speak up at the time, but the seed has been planted, so. Anyone have questions on that? All right, cool. So we can move on. And I I was gonna put that on this this on the oh did Anita, did you put this on here? I didn't want to put you on the spot if you yeah, weren't I, I added that there, but I think um we might have to take it to the um discussion on GitHub as well. So but basically the the last time I indicated interest on this issue and um, I decided to put down my thoughts regarding how I want to go about this. Yeah, so these are documents um I've put together. I'm currently working on uh, curating the metrics, the inclusion metrics that we're currently um we have in chaos right now. And then I would um bring up the interview possible interview questions you know to ask these persons as well but so far this is um the idea and um what we hope to achieve this is awesome oh my gosh you did so much work on this oh my gosh i am so excited holy cow this is amazing do you want, so maybe we could, <laughs> we could just, I see your jinx, Dustin, yes. Maybe we could just take a couple of minutes and read through this as a group. I can, I can pause the recording too, just to let everybody kind of digest what you've written here. Yeah, so do some silent Google docking. Perfect. And we're back after reading through this amazing document that Anita has put together. Serious, serious kudos to you, Anita. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Who has thoughts? Who wants to, to bring it up? Who wants to discuss?
Uh, I can share two comments uh, that came to mind for me. Um, so one was thinking on the timeline for this. Uh, I think it's really well scoped. Maybe my suggestion in the doc was we could try this in a three month cycle where the first month would really be focusing on the preparation, kind of getting organized, identifying any candidates, setting up interviews, emailing people. The second month could be actually doing the interviews, feedback collection, getting all the data. And that third month could be like processing all the feedback we've collected and trying to come up with some specific recommendations. So that's kind of my, my thought to share with the group we could discuss. The second one, since it came up in this document, talking about surveys. So I'm, I'm seeing this to mean uh, surveying specific people about the DEI metrics. But one thing to mention is that uh, we're in the process of putting together a contributor, like community, contributor community survey for all of the chaos community that would launch next month. So if there are questions that we'd want to ask to the whole chaos community across all working groups, maybe about DEI or some of our metrics, that could be something we explore. Um, but that would be separate. Would, this, this survey was more about the contributor community at large. It wouldn't be so focused on the metrics, but maybe that could still be useful feedback if there was a question. So those are my two points. Just wanted to mention that timeline idea and then that we are also planning a community survey that would launch next month on September 12th-ish, over. And just to kind of clarify, um, the I think that the surveys that um, Anita is proposing here would not be the same community. So that's why Justin is saying if there are questions we wanted to ask our current community about the DEI metrics, we could maybe add that to that survey that he's talking about. Um, but it seems like this is mostly geared externally of like what we're what are we missing? How are we doing externally in the world? Okay. What are other people's thoughts on this proposal? Apologies to those who have just joined. We did just have a, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Perfect. I was going to ask if the survey would be if was if this this um this project now would be able to collect data through both survey and interviews, or would the survey be used to screen people for interviews? So I'm asking. That's a good question. I think that uh. Anita, I'm not sure what your original thoughts were. It seems to me that you were proposing to do a survey, um, a, a general survey on how we're using our metrics. And that would be the survey, not like a survey to figure out if that's someone that we want to interview. I think that's your question, Lemmy, right? Okay, well, um what i actually had in mind for this survey was to um gather people's thoughts on participating in the program so the survey was to get persons from this underrepresented group who would be interested in actually being interviewed and sharing their thoughts and then um we cannot move forward to um, sending out um, interview questions and setting of interview interviews with them if they actually want that. Okay, so the thing I just said is wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Mary, just to give you a quick context also, I think there's a few others that just joined. Um, we are going through this proposal that Anita has put together about interviewing some um, underrepresented groups in open source 
to talk about our, our DEI metrics that we develop and like where we can do better and where we might be able to improve our metrics. Um, metrics we haven't developed yet. What are we missing? What what don't we have representation in chaos for? So um, just to make our metrics stronger and get some feedback on how they're working for people. Yeah, thanks, Justin, for dropping that link. Hi, uh, so I want to say something about some of the background noise. So if you are doing this kind of studies, it's called qualitative study. And you need to enrich your, but your knowledge base with materials that are not commonplace. What you usually do is exploratory study. So you use open-ended interview study. Then based on what participants of the interview receive, you now guide your survey instrument because in survey you aim at reaching a huge number of people but on the interview you are focusing on targeting a handful of selected people it might be the high profile people or some kind of uh, selections that you need to do interview if you do a series structure or open and uh, open-ended then you are collecting a huge amount of data that will later now inform you on how to target the wide range now of people with so, you know, from the survey instrument. So it all depends on the study design. But in any case, we are in the community to help to design when uh, the objectives are uh, uh, stated. From what uh, Anita just said, if that is the direction, then I think this is the best way to approach it. So if there is any doubt, we can always work with you to, to, make this, uh, to help you to make this kind of study. Armstrong, I had a little hard time hearing you, but I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think what you were saying is that we should um, do do this on a larger scale. Is that what you were? No, okay, that, let me come again. Sorry for the background noise. Oh, that's what okay. I'm saying is that when you are doing a qualitative study in this magnitude, you always want to start with your interview uh, studies. There, you are doing open-ended questions on a semi-structure interview and you select high-profile people within the community that you judge. You have to use your human bias in a way to judge people that can be of, uh, resourceful. Now, you allow them to, just to, to, to talk freely. On, you just guide the discussion and they do the talking and they explain and how it, the, the discussion is driven. You will do a quick analysis to pick out keywords that each participant is mentioning. Now, when you do, let's say four or five interviews, it start giving you an idea of the direction that things are flowing. Might be your, so your interview study, the targeting, let's say uh, from 15 to 20 people. At some point in time, you will reach saturation. Now, it gives you a solid background of the kind of questions to include in your survey instruments. Because survey instruments are designed to reach out to a wide variety of people. The interview is for a selected people with high decision because studies have shown that by, before you reach the most often 20, you will reach saturation if you design your study correctly. So that's why I was saying that if uh, they have any difficulties in this area, we are there to help. They can, we can always help to, coordinate, to help them do uh, the, the design, the study design properly. But it's a good direction. I like what Anita said. It's a good direction. Thank you. And you're saying around 20 would be good for this to kind of give give enough data to to know. Yeah, for the for the interview for the interview. For the interview. Uh, we yeah. have done we have done an uh, interview on like for example my recent studies with Microsoft. By the time I reach uh, 12. Uh, managers already attain saturation, which is well known in, in the literature. Yeah, yes. 16, 20, yeah, above 20, you will hardly find anything new coming up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so 20 is the magic number. If anything past that, then you're probably just repeating what has been mentioned earlier. Okay, cool. 
Thank you for that. And Justin makes the comment to avoid biasing the response with surveys or interviews by begging a specific response. I think that's excellent also. Uh, excellent, something to keep into consideration. So we'll drop, can I drop that in as a comment, Justin, or do you want to do that? Yep, I can grab that for you. Okay. Another, because I would, I would assume that kind of um, also supports Armstrong's suggestion of just having open-ended questions instead of trying to like be too focused and right? Is that what you're saying? Or? Uh, sorry, Elizabeth, I, I missed the point. Oh, I, I, I was asking question. Justin. Yeah, I was asking Justin if if um, having oh. that open-ended question would would kind of take care of what his concern was by biasing the responses, by just kind of leaving it open would be better. Is that right, Justin? Yeah, I was trying to capture some of what Armstrong was suggesting too. And I think that was at least the point on those open-ended questions because I, I was just doing some user testing for um, a product I'm working on at, at work. And that was something that I, you can definitely do that in like user user testing interviews and probably for the kind of survey sort of interviews we'd want to run too, is that if you ask very pointed questions, then you might get specific kinds of responses or bias someone to answer in a specific kind of way. So if we can ask things in a neutral, uh, yeah, like neutral language where you're really leaving it open-ended to let the person kind of formulate their own conclusion that can Got help you. avoid that that bias and uh, what's called begging, begging the re begging the reply, begging the response. There's some idiom for this. I can't remember, but I think you get the idea. Yeah. So so essentially, we shouldn't say do. You do you really, really love chaos metrics or do you just love them? Just one love like that would. Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, OK, awesome, awesome, awesome feedback. Who else has some comments? I, I have a question for Anita. So how can we support you in this? Because this is a lot of work. <laughs> this is a ton of work. And this should not be all on. I mean, I know you're super passionate about it. And I, I applaud that. But I, I don't want you to feel like, OK, now it's all on your shoulders to implement and execute and all of these things. So uh, do you want, are you, would you want to like open it up for people to join your team or like, what can we do to support you in this effort? Okay, I, I definitely would appreciate um, getting other persons on this because it's more exciting to hear from other people's thoughts and opinions when putting this together. So I'll definitely appreciate that. Okay, so um, if people are interested in helping out or being a part of this project, what would you want them to do? I need to reach out to you, add their name here, um, hit you up on Slack or email, or what would you what would you you prefer? Okay, uh, I'm going to drop the link to um, this issue, so I'll continue. We'll continue the conversation there. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, there's a link in GitHub. So most of the conversations for this particular project will be done on this issue, on that this issue. So you're welcome to um, add your thoughts and opinions. So I'll just add the link to the doc here too. Okay, well, that is amazing. And um, I can also, I'm happy, more than happy to put it in the, newsletter as something that we're wanting to do and also maybe bring it up at the community meeting in case people want to join the effort awesome yes i'd really appreciate that thank you yeah you're welcome oh man this is so fantastic so i'm just gonna ai a little bit here um put in newsletter and also Awesome. I will be more than happy to do that.
And then people should, um, anyone interested in this project should um, follow the issue and is that enough? Just follow or mention mention their interest in that issue? Is that, that what you said? Yes, um, they can drop um, um, indicates their interest there too. And you can also um, interact with the documents. That's open, so you can always drop your suggestions on the documents as well. Fantastic. Let me just make sure I get this. Sometimes I forget to actually assign it to myself. So well, it didn't assign, but maybe it'll tell me that I mentioned myself. I don't know. How does Google Docs work? I don't know. All right. So we have about 12 minutes left. Um, do we have anything else on our agenda today? Or do we want to get that time back? Or what do we want to talk about? Well, I guess nobody has anything pressing that they want to mention or discuss. Nothing urgent. Justin, I see you turned your camera back on. Did you have anything? No, my my headphones died. I had to. Oh. Get a new... no. <laughs> I was ready for you. I was here, but that's OK. It's all right. Um, OK, well, I guess we are we're good. Thanks, everyone. What a great productive meeting. And it was largely a, a, um, Anita's doing. So thank you so much again, Anita. It's such great work. I'm so excited about this. It's really great. Everybody have a great rest of your day and we'll see you here next week. Take it easy. Bye everybody. Thanks for driving today, Elizabeth. Yeah, no worries. Happy to do it. Bye.